I call it figure 10, but it is what it is. We're kids. <laughs> it is what it so is. I know I have we need family. Here. I have Mr. and Mrs. Dolphins, Mr. and Mrs. Suri, Mr. and Mrs. Suri. I have Mrs. Cranford, many members throughout the community. Sister Rawlins, I'm grateful for you all. And so just Man. wanted to thank you for joining here. And lastly, my family, but most importantly, my family, my St. Mark Baptist Church. Yeah. And so I'm so thankful for that. Me as one of your own coming from Tulsa, and you really yeah. couldn't tell that we haven't been here the whole time. All right. Yeah. All right. But I'm not going to tarry any longer, for I believe that there's a word for us oh, today from amen. the Lord. Amen. amen. Our scripture reading this morning will be found in the book of Philippians, amen. chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. I would ask that we stand out of reverence for God's holy word. I will be reading from the New International Version. Once we have it there, we can signify please by saying amen. amen. Verse 12 reads, Not that I've already obtained all of this, or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing that I do, Forgetting what is behind and straining toward what lies ahead. Yeah. I press on toward the goal yeah. to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. I go back to the first few words in verse 14. I press on yes. toward the goal. Yeah. One last time, I press on yeah. toward the goal yeah. to win the prize for which God has yeah. called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Yeah. You may be seated. Amen. The title of the message this morning is simple. Please repeat after me. No matter what, no matter what, we must, we must press forward. Press, press forward. forward. All right. Let us pray. Eternal God, we thank you for your word and the very power that it has to guide us on this side of heaven. May the words of my mouth and the meditation yes. of my heart be pleasing and acceptable in your sight, yes. O oh Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Lord, if I am too high, bring me down. But Lord, if I am too low, lift me up. Yes. Heavenly Father, so your name will be edified and the devil horrified. Yes. It is in the mighty name of Jesus, and we say amen. 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 No amen. matter Lord. what, we must press forward. Yes. Amen. Beloved, it doesn't take very long for a person to learn that this life has its share of highs and lows. Sometimes rain, sometimes sunshine. Sometimes joy, sometimes tears. Sometimes peace, sometimes sorrow. But one thing about this life that we must all remember is that with God, we can endure and be victorious. Amen. Rather than praying away all of the difficult times, it is important for us to remember that there is a purpose in it all. Yeah. While we pray for progress, promotion, and good days, yeah. Yeah. it takes some of the low moments in this life to help us understand that we must rely upon our God to bring us out and bring us out with victory. Yeah. 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 There is not a single person gathered here today who has had an easy road along life's journey. Yeah. In the midst of trials, I know that we don't always see the end, we just see the right now. But one thing that I know is that no matter what you face, thank God, because he has strategically arranged each and every circumstance in your life to bring you to this very moment. As long as you have breath in your body, that should signify something to you. The Lord is still working to bring about something in your life to fulfill his very purpose. Amen. You know that we learn a biblical and a valuable lesson when we look at the Apostle Paul mm -hmm. on how we ought to embrace rather than rebuke the less than favorable moments in this life. We find in the Apostle Paul in our text, he's writing to the church at Philippi. Paul was obedient to the call of God, but endured many obstacles, yes. rejection, and even imprisonment in response to his obedience to God. Yeah. Paul was in prison for doing what he knew the Lord had called and prepared him for, yes. and that is spreading the good news of the Glory. gospel. Yeah. Paul used his imprisonment for, for great gain to further preach and spread the word of God, even to prison guards. Mm -hmm. Even though Paul was in prison for obeying the call of God on his life, mm -hmm. he did not focus on his physical condition mm -hmm. of being bound in chains in a prison. No. 
We further learn from the Apostle you, Paul Lord. the type of perspective and the belief that the children yes. of God should possess when we cannot change our present conditions. Yeah. Paul believed firmly and stated continuously throughout his letter to the church at Philippi that no matter what you face, all the strength you need to endure is found in the Lord. Yes, Somebody yes. said it's found in the Lord. Yes, it is. You may be thinking, well, how did he endure and press through life's challenges? I'm going to give you five elements this morning that represent just how Paul pressed forward and through his present situation and how we as the children of God can face every situation in Amen. life and finish with victory. Right. I'm sure that we've all had some Paul moments along yes. this life when we felt like we were bound in some of the chains of depression and debt, sickness and divorce, mm -hmm. loss of loved one, loss of a job, and the list infinite that goes on. Yeah. Saints of God, I want you to know that these inevitable circumstances occur. However, we have a Savior, our Lord and Savior, who is right here with us. The Lord will not allow anything to come into our lives to destroy us. I believe, though, he will allow us to experience some less than favorable circumstances yes. because he is strategically preparing us for the future glory yes. that shall be revealed. Yes. Sometimes we go through things because the Lord is pressing out of us yes. some of the things that will not work in our lives yes. at the next level to which the Lord is calling and wanting to take us. Yes. Rather than despising challenges, we must press and believe in our God to bring us out victorious because yes. I believe that he will. Yes. Can somebody yes. say amen? Yes, he will. Beloved, yes. right here in the text, we are presented yes. with one word that encompasses the wisdom that we need to face any situation yes. in this life. The word that I'm referring to in our text is press. Yes. P-R-E-S-S. -S. I know you're thinking, I got it, young man. I press. <laughs> I press every day just to get out of bed. Yeah. I'm pressing right now to make it to service. Yeah. Or I press my lips together every day just to keep from cussing somebody else. Yeah. No, 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 that's not what I mean. Right here we have five critical elements that will ensure that you receive the end goal. Yes. That is eternal life with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Each letter in the word press today will articulate how we can live and view adversity on earth as Paul did. These five elements, I know they have the power to redirect your life. So my question to you today, family, are you ready? Glory! I don't, I don't hear that. Are you ready? Right Let's begin. The first letter is P, and that stands for prayer. Yes, there is power in prayer. We as Christians should pray and pray without ceasing. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 17. We have seen time and time again throughout God's word and even in our very own lives how prayer not only strengthens our relationship with God, but it should be a daily, ongoing conversation with God. Many of us are familiar with the saying that it happens after prayer. Amen. If we look at our very own lives, we are the descendants of the fervent prayers of our parents and our grandparents and even our ancestors. Historically, it was about prayer that many enslaved Africans became, becoming later known as African Americans right. were delivered out of the abhorrent brutality right. of slavery and racial inequity in America. Right. The Apostle Paul reminds us again in Philippians 4, 6 and 7, do not be anxious about anything, yeah. but in every situation, yeah. by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the Lord. peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and Hallelujah. your mind in Christ Jesus. Yeah. As children of God, we should pray and pray regularly. Right. If we come to the Lord in prayer, he not only hears us, but he speaks to and through yeah. us. God is always with yes. us, and we will always be better off when we pray. Yeah. We should bring both our troubles and our praise to the Lord. I am a witness and I believe in the power of prayer. The Lord has brought me a mighty, mighty long way. As a first generation college student, I admit that it was only by prayer and obedience to God that I became the first person in my entire family with a doctorate degree. I struggled greatly along the journey, but I remained in continual prayer to God. Repeatedly the naysayers could not do it. They said that you'd have to retake the course next semester. They said you would not pass the test. They said you're not qualified. They said you haven't talked long enough. They said you're too young. There were times that I wanted to throw in the towel. But rather than believe in the lies of, of Satan, I believe the word of God, which states that he who began a good work in you shall carry it out into completion. Unto the day of Jesus Christ. So remember, family, we must take everything to the Lord. 
church? Am I willing to make that daily sacrifices to be an active witness to the goodness and the glory of the Lord? Lord. Do I sacrifice my flesh to bring about continual praise to God yes, everywhere that I Lord. am? I would hope that you could answer yes to one or all of the yeah. previous stated questions. Glory. If not, just know that the Lord is willing and able to yes, use you for his greater service. Lord. All you have to do is decide. Somebody shout, decide. 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 Through prayer and a right relationship with God, the Lord can and will. He'll prompt you to know how to serve on earth. Yes. When we serve, we are able to take our minds off of ourselves and what is not going right in our very own lives. Yes. And we then divert our energy to help others. Yes. 
Paul served through the pain by spreading the word of the gospel no matter where he was. Yes. Like Paul, we too will gain the strength that we need to press forward and take the hold of the prize of eternal life when we serve. So remember, when we serve, we should serve with a Christ-like attitude. Yes. Remember Jesus' death, his burial, and his resurrection represented the ultimate sacrifice and that the Lord sent his only son. Surely yes. we can serve our fellow brothers and sisters Glory. in Christ. So I say to you today, beloved, serve through the pain. Yes. The final X, you got to get this. Say yes to God. Yes. Saying yes to God will always ensure right. that you are protected, prospered, and positioned for God's best, both in your life and in the lives of others. It should feel good to know that the Lord has each and every one of you on his mind at all times. God is present in our lives, and he is waiting on us to decide if we're going to say yes to him. Knowing this, we should always approach the Lord with a big yes. Just to be clear, saying yes to God will not wipe away all of your trouble. It may even bring about some more unexpected obstacles. But rest assured, beloved, if you say yes to God, God will be sure to keep you and bring you out there. Let's briefly look over our lives and let's see what the Lord said yes to us. Number one, the Lord said yes when he created you. Yes, Number yes. two, the Lord said yes when he saved your soul from eternal damnation by sending Jesus yes. to Calvary's cross. Number three, the Lord said yes despite the many times we missed the mark and fallen short into temptation and sin. Number four, the Lord said yes when our sick beds were not our cooling board. Number five, the Lord said yes when he said no to some of the things that we asked him for because he knew if we had them, we couldn't do us no earthly good. So remember, brothers and sisters, when you're going through, all you have to do is yes. press. And you press yes. through prayer. A yes. right relationship with God, Good. expecting the expiration date, serving through the pain, yes. and saying yes to God. Yes. Yes. As right. I close, if Good. you do not get anything from this message, you've got to get this. Yes. Although the Bible tells of Paul's life, there's an even greater man who faced challenges yes. and had to press daily. Lord. I'm not talking about just a man, I'm talking about the man. Right. I'm talking about the man and his name is Jesus.